Hi everyone, this is Amy from the Helms Academy and today we're going to be talking about comparing decimals. By the end of this video, you'll be able to define the key vocabulary, identify the place value positions of decimals, and also compare decimals based on size. Let's start with some key vocabulary. A decimal number is a number whose whole number part and fractional part is separated by a decimal point. For example, let's look at the number 1.5 or 1 and 5 tenths. 1 is the whole number portion and the 5 comes after the decimal, so it represents only part of a whole number. Anything to the left of the decimal is a whole number and anything to the right is only a part of a whole number. When we compare numbers, we're going to use different signs. We can use the greater than sign, the less than sign, or the equal sign to show how the numbers relate to each other. Which sign you use just depends on how you're writing something out. Remember, the widest part of the carrot always faces the largest number, and the smaller, pointier side of the carrot goes towards the smaller number. So if I write out 1.5 and 1, between them I will put the greater than symbol. And I read it like a sentence. 1.5 is greater than 1. If I reverse their order and I put the 1 first and the 1.5 second, I would reverse the symbol too. And I would read it as a sentence as 1 is less than 1.5. Let's say I take two numbers that are equal in value, and I can use an equal sign between them. You can see this in the example 1.5 equals 1.5. Before we can compare decimals, we need to understand their different place values. Here you can see a place value chart with the decimal point in the middle. To the left, you see all the whole number places, the ones, the tens, the thousands, etc. To the right of the decimal, you see the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and so on. These all represent fractional numbers, and that means it's a part of a whole number. When reading a decimal, you say the whole number first, and after that you use the word and to represent the decimal. Then you read the number that's on the other side. When you've finished reading the number on the other side, you look at where the last number ends, which place value it's in, and then you read that place value. Let's look at some examples. The first example on the screen is said as 15 and 6 tenths. The 6 is just one place value after the decimal point, and the decimals end there, so we read it as 6 tenths. The second, where you see 22.64, is read as 22 and 64 hundredths. The last one you'll see doesn't have a whole number, so we don't say any whole number and we don't use the and because we're not connecting the whole number with the fractional number. We just read it as one thousandth because that number one, even though there are two zeros in front of it, ends in the thousandth place. One thing to remember about decimals is that at the end of the numbers that are listed there to the right of a decimal point, once those are finished, you can keep adding zeros to the decimal places and the number's value actually remains the same. Let me show you an example of this. 1 and 45 hundredths is the same as 1 and 450 thousandths, and that is the same as 1 and 4,500 ten thousandths, and so on. We can keep adding zeros until the end of time, and that number will still remain the same value. When we look to the right of the decimal, the numbers that fall closer to the decimal point are larger than the numbers that are farther away. An easy way to remember this is just to think about money. If you have $1.05 and your friend has $1.10, who has more money? Your friend! So even though the one is smaller than the number five, we have to look at what's closer to the decimal place. When we look in the tenths column, I see that one is greater than zero. So 0.10 or 10 hundredths 
is larger than 0 0.05 or 5 hundredths. Here are a couple of rules to remember when you're trying to find the value of a decimal number. You'll want to first look at the whole number, and that will be to the left of the decimal. Whole numbers are always larger than decimals. Now, the only exception to this is if you don't see a whole number, to which you'll assume that that value is zero. Next, you'll need to look at the number just to the right of the decimal point. This is the tenths place. So of all the numbers you might see to the right of the decimal point, the first one to the right always has the greatest value. So it's important to look at this first and then continue moving right. Each number after that will have a smaller and smaller value. Okay, now we're going to do some practice and look at some examples. We're going to decide which symbol should go between each of these pairs of numbers, the greater than, less than, or equal to symbol. If you'd like, you can pause the video here and you'll be able to try these on your own before we move on to the answers on the next slide. Okay, here are the solutions and the explanation. One and 585 thousandths is greater than one and 565 thousandths. The whole number one is the same, and then the five after the decimal point is the same, so we have to compare the eight and the six. Eight is greater than six. 99 hundredths is less than one and one hundredth. Whole numbers are always greater than just the decimals alone, so be sure to look at what the whole number values are to compare first. 9 and 35 hundredths is equal to 9 and 350 thousandths. Remember, just adding a zero to the end of a decimal doesn't actually change its value. 67 thousandths is greater than 67 ten thousandths. Remember to look at which number is closest to the decimal point. Because there is a six versus a zero in the hundredths place, that first number is actually larger. 881 thousandths is less than 8,881 ten thousandths. In the thousandths place, the first number has a one and the second number has an eight. So always look for the numbers closest to the decimal point and compare down the line from there. Finally, 91 hundredths is greater than 109 thousandths because nine is greater than one. Fantastic work today comparing decimals and thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the Helms Academy at helmsacademy.org.